I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Blimey! Twelve years ago, Sirius Black murdered 13 people with a single curse. Imagine it! A single curse! Crutchanks! No! Get out of here! Can't you keep that monster under control? Now I'm gonna have to find Scabbers. Calm down, Ron. You don't want to wake up Professor Lupin, our new defense against the dark arts teacher. I'll help you find Scabbers. Come on. I think Scabbers went that way. Come on, Harry. Scabbers went this way. Scabbers, come here, you little... and find scabbers. Well, look who it is. Hottie and the weasel. I should have known this pathetic excuse for a rat had something to do with you. Give him back, Malfoy. Or what, Weasley? Or... Uh, or oh. I'll... Uh. Rick to Sempra. You asked for it, Malfoy. Oh. Side of a barn, Weasley. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You're smiling on the other side of your face now, aren't you, Malfoy? <sighs> Come on, Ron. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Why's the train stop? There's something moving out there.
None of us is hiding serious black under our clothes. Harry! Harry! Are you all right? What? What? Are you okay? Yeah. What happened? Who screamed? No one screamed. But I heard screaming. Here, eat it. It'll help. What was that thing? A Dementor. One of the Dementors of Azkaban. Are you sure you're okay, Harry? Fine. Take this book, Harry. I'm sure it'll help. It has a few pages missing, but I'm sure you'll be able to find them at Hogwarts. At long last, the Hogwarts Express reached its destination, and soon Harry and his friends were safely in Gryffindor Tower. Knowing that Sirius Black was likely to be looking for him troubled Harry deeply, and Professor Dumbledore's announcement about Dementors patrolling the gates while Sirius Black was still at large only confirmed his fears. But finding himself back in the familiar dormitory, Harry felt he was home at last. Harry, did you have a look at the folio brutai that Lupin gave you then? No, not yet. Come on, let's have a look at it then. Show it to me. Come on, show me the folio brutai. That's wicked. We're going to have to find the rest of those pages. That's so cool. Let's go show it to Hermione. Let's go and see Hermione. Sorry, I'm really busy at the moment. I've got so much work to do. But you know you said you had lots of trouble with Draco on the train. Yes. Well, you could have made it so much easier for yourself with the Expelliarmus spell. The spell book's over there. Thanks. I remember. The Expelliarmus spell. Okay then, you cast Rapendo at me, and I'll try and use Expelliarmus. Come on, cast Rapendo at me! <laughs> right, now it's my turn. I'll cast Rapendo at you, and you use Expelliarmus to knock my spells away. Hang on, you haven't equipped Expelliarmus to your wand. Get ready then. Three, two, one. Sorry. So you're going to have to cast Expelliarmus. is rubbish!
That was cool. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's go and see Fred and George. What villains are these that trespass upon the lands of I, Sir Cadogan? So, you're... What are we doing hanging around here? Come on, Fred and George are on this. I don't know about you, but I think that Sir Cadogan's a bit of a loony. in your little beddy bed right now. What's it to you? Well, if you're gonna be like that, here's a little bedtime story to keep you busy. Aim at the spell book! Aim at the spell book! That worked. Knock the spell back at the spell book, Harry. and find Fred and George. Thanks for sorting out peeves, by the way. You really know how to cast that Expelliarmus spell. <laughs> cast Rependo at it! Great! Fred, George, what have you got to show us then? Something really special. This way. Within this room is the entrance to a secret passage, beyond which you will find the Marauder's Map, a magical parchment that shows you everything you will ever need to know about Hogwarts. So there's an entrance to a secret passage in here? Yes, indeed there is, young Harry. And we're sure that one of you will be able to find it. 